Yo, I'm not oh, ready for the weekend. Absolutely. Way. You I have see, made me a happy girl. Are you happy? Yes. I see uh, people still crediting Charlie T on Telegram for the mix. Oh, anytime, guys. Anytime. That's how I do it's it. Not, yeah. It's not Charlie in the mix. Stop well, well someone else is crediting me. I don't know where they got that from, but Etienne <laughs> Bester says, Lee, I drink was enormous vandaag, jong. I drink nuxi. Starting out was Rick Astley. It was his birthday yesterday, just by the way. He turned 53 years old. I, I wished him on Twitter, but he hasn't replied since. So. Yeah, that's because you're wishing Rick Esther Lee. <laughs> Not guy. Rick Astley. Yeah. I got excited last year when I thought Rick Astley was following me. It was a Rick Astley. The spelling was different. I got so excited about Rick it. Rick Astley from the R. I'm so sorry, Dave, that you have to come into this. No, uh, Dave Callahan is in studio this morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? Good morning, Wayne. And good morning, Charlton and Lee. Morning, morning, Dave. Morning, as Wayne said, South Africa will open the uh, over 50 World Cup campaign against Wales in uh, Cape Town. A cricket club that's on the 11th of March, while defending champions Australia will tackle uh, strongly fancied underdog Zimbabwe at Claremont Cricket Club. And as Wayne mentioned, joining us uh, in studio this morning, he's no stranger to the sport. He played 21, uh, 29 one day international matches for South Africa and has scored over 13,000 runs combined in a list A and first class games. Also played 20 years first class cricket. Uh, Dave Callan, captain of the South African uh, team that will be uh, playing in uh, March. Good morning, Dave Callan. How are you? Morning, Wayne. Nice to see you again. Yeah, That's you Charles and I'm sorry, Charles. I must say, it was a magnificent studio, yeah, the new one, yeah. No, he's awesome, mate. Listen, uh, I have to get straight down to the nitty gritty. Was yeah. it an easy decision for you personally uh, to to get back at a prof- professional level uh, for this tournament, seeing that it is a over fifties <laughs> tournament? If you get to where I'm, I'm going to with yeah, this, yeah. is it easy easy decision to get into it? Not really. I think a lot of the guys um, that that were selected last year, they they went to Australia, and it was more of a um, composite side of guys you could afford to go. It was wasn't yeah. an, offici- an affiliate of SA Cricket. Yeah. So this year, um, with obviously a sponsorship of Evergreen Lifestyle, which is, can you believe is a retirement home facility, <laughs> 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 which, uh, which is not based in PE at the moment, um, they thought it was appropriate that they get involved. Yeah. And, uh, and, and thanks to them, we've been able to host, it, host the, the tournament ourselves in Cape Town. And then we had trials. Um, a lot of guys that have been picked for this year are guys that are still playing club cricket somewhere along the line or yeah. play uh, social cricket and like there's lots of other um, evening games and stuff like that. So it's guys that are pretty mobile, uh, guys that can, uh, can, can play. Um, there's a co- obviously a couple of ex-internationals, guys like Louis Kuhn, yeah. John T. Rhodes, uh, Peter Stratum, a local guy. Um, we've got two guys down in, down in the country district side, Warren Rippon. Uh, and, and Dave Duncan, they they play in the country districts league down the road. So there's quite a lot of guys that are actually still playing. So when uh, we had, can you believe it? We had trials, um, and um, all around the country. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the selectors were just Steve Falfreman, who who would love to be playing ex international. Yeah. Uh, he's only 48, so he can't play. But he was one of our convener of selectors, and he and obviously he selected a, a side to take on. Uh, or play in the tournament. Well, well, it leads me to my next question. Speaking of the trials, uh, how's, is, there's just uh, under a month left uh, for, for the tournament to start. Yeah, how's we, the training coming along? Yeah, look at the training. Everyone's up to, uh, it's up to every, all the individuals um, to get on and, and play some lo- local club cricket or, or practice. Um, I've been, suddenly got my, my bag out and uh, I've, I've played up until about a year, until, a year ago until I had a bit of a knee issue. And then um, I started... Um, I took out the bag and started hitting balls again. And unfortunately, I've got a son that plays, so him, yeah. him and I go and have nets uh, all, all the sessions, time. Sessions, yeah. Yeah, a couple of net sessions. But uh, we're hoping to have a training camp uh, next weekend okay. down in Cape Town uh, for three days. Um, and then we'll come home and then we'll go back again on, on the 7th of March. Yeah. Dave, look at you with the knee issue and uh, you're right back in the game. <laughs> Charlton's battling to take it up one flight of stairs with his <laughs> knee up that he had two years ago. Yeah, I don't so. remember. <laughs> okay. He's okay. sitting here complaining about his knee. I said to him, well, look, here, five months ago I had a knee replacement and I've kept look him at quiet. That. <laughs> look at that. Listen, Dave, just to change the topic a little bit and get into the national space, how do you mm. feel about um, the new captain-coach combination of the Proteas with Quinton de Kock as the new one-day captain and Mark Boucher as the new coach. I look at firstly, I think on, on Mark's side, I think it's great to have him um, there with all his knowledge. Um, I know there's a lot of criticism about um, you know always getting players, um, ex-players involved, um, and you know they say Mark hasn't got this 
comments like Mark hasn't got his level three coaching yeah. in that. But I mean, with his experience there, um, it's unbeatable. I mean, you, you, he, he'll be able to. And the, and the most important thing in a change room in a, in a, in a, in a heated situation or, or a, a competitive situation like that, to have somebody with his knowledge and experience mm. in the change room gives everybody a lot of confidence. Yes. Quinton is um, a very, uh, from all reports, um, I don't know him that well. Obviously, he's a lot younger than me. And I, but from a, all reports, is uh, he has um, a very good cricket brain. And, um, you know, he leads by an example, which is very important for a leader as well. So, um, yeah, let's hope tonight they, they do it again. You know, that's so a good they, combo, you, you reckon? I think it's a really good combination. Lovely. Yeah, I really do. You know, it's new um, and there's a new vibe in the team. Mm. Fantastic. Uh, Dave Callahan on I'll Go FM Breakfast. Good luck. All the best from us, yeah. at least. And uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thanks Dave. Dave. Thanks, thank man. Thank you. Thank you.